Welcome to the Montgomery Virtual Program New Student Orientation. In the following presentation, you will have the guidelines and procedures reviewed with you to ensure that you are ready to begin your online course with MVP. At the end of the presentation, you will be directed to view the information for your specific course learning management system. MVP is a comprehensive online learning solution offered as a service through the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit. MVP offers a continuum of online learning options for students. The Montgomery County Intermediate Unit serves Montgomery County's 200 public and non-public schools with special services as needed, such as MVP's virtual learning solution. Here is a quick overview of the Montgomery Virtual Program. All course content and all work is submitted online. All coursework must be completed by your school's deadline, and you can log in and access your work on a 24-7 basis. During this orientation, we will cover guidelines, procedures, using the MVP platform, and a wrap-up of this orientation. Let's begin with guidelines. MVP utilizes an asynchronous model for its program. This means that you can log in whenever you want, and you do not have to be online at the same time as your instructor. However, this makes setting a schedule very important, which is what we will discuss on the next slide. Self-discipline is an extremely important part of online learning. You will only have success if you set a specific time to complete your work. To help with this, we have included a resource in the student orientation area of our website entitled MVP student time management form to help you set a weekly schedule for completing work. Be sure to take the time to complete this and commit to a schedule that is reasonable and that you can stick to. School year courses are broken up into Part A and Part B or Semester 1 and Semester 2. Typically, each semester course is 18 weeks in duration. We also offer block scheduling for 9 weeks or your school can choose their own start and end dates and course duration. For summer courses, both accelerated and credit recovery courses are full year courses typically provided in an eight week format. Time spent working on your course will vary. During a typical school year course, you should plan on spending about five hours a week per course. During the summer, credit recovery students should schedule seven and a half hours per week and accelerated students should schedule 20 hours per week to complete your course on time. In addition to setting a schedule, communication is essential to help ensure that you have success with your course. In order to succeed, you must communicate with your teacher. If you have a question, make sure to ask it as soon as possible by contacting your teacher. We will discuss how to email your teacher later in the orientation. Be proactive. Contact your teacher in advance if you know that you're not going to be online for more than three consecutive days. Also, make sure to contact them with anything else that you feel they should know. While communication is essential, you need to think about how you construct the emails to teachers. Remember that you are writing to a teacher and that you will not get a response right away. In general, 24 hours is an acceptable time frame for teachers to respond to you. In addition, remember that all emails are archived. Arranging a comfortable and distraction-free setting will greatly contribute to successfully completing your course. Social media can live without you for a few hours, so make sure to keep your phone in another room while you work on your course. With your parents' permission, you may also consider working in a public library. Prior to reviewing procedures, here are some final tips that will help you have success. Despite what you may have heard, online learning is not easier than traditional learning. You will need to work just as hard as you do in a regular classroom to achieve success. Make sure to set a schedule that is realistic. It is essentially important to stay ahead of the game and not fall behind with your coursework. Finally, please communicate with your teachers whenever necessary. Next, we will review procedures. It is strongly recommended that you consistently log in and complete work at least five times per week for each course. Keep in mind that your course is available 24 hours, 7 days per week, so you can log in 
whenever it is most convenient for you. If you are not progressing, we will contact you, your parents or guardian, and your school to encourage your success. Idle time is not considered completing work. Idle time is when the content is open, but you are not working on it. Academic honesty is a key requirement for participating in MVP. Upon submission, all essays will be checked to ensure that content is not plagiarized. Be sure to cite any work that you have referenced in your submissions. Academic dishonesty will not be tolerated and will be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis with your school. Most textbooks that you will need will be available online and may be accessed at any time. Hard copy text will not be provided by MVP. Some courses may require novels. These can be checked out from local or school libraries or purchased by students from bookstores. All coursework must be completed by 11.59 p.m. on the end date of your course. MVP provides a percentage score to you and your school. This score will be reported to your school and they will determine a grade for your report card. MVP does not send or generate report cards or transcripts. In summary, remember, all course content is delivered online, all work is submitted online, and all coursework must be completed by the course end date. Finally, you can log in 24-7. Our office hours are Monday to Friday, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. We can be reached via email at mvp at mciu.org or by phone at 484-687-4101. Please see our website, mvp.mciu.org, for more information. To sign in to your course, go to mvp.mciu.org Click Students and Families, then click Student Login. Choose your content provider, and finally, enter your username and password that were emailed to you. During the next few minutes, we will spend time exploring Edgenuity. The first thing you will need to do is to log into Edgenuity using your assigned username and password. If you have misplaced this, please contact MVP. The first screen you will see when you log in to Edgenuity is the dashboard. The dashboard is where you will access all of your courses from and also contains other important information. The academic snapshot lists the courses you are enrolled in and your current score for all courses. To access a course, you would click on the name of the course. Upcoming events is where reminders from your teachers will appear. You can also use this area to set your own reminders. The activity area shows the time you have been spending with each course, and the message center is where all email from your teachers will appear. This is also the area where you will write emails to your teachers. On the left side of the screen, you will see a menu of other pages that are available in the Student Information System, or SIS for short. The dashboard, which is the page that we just reviewed, is the first screen you will see when you log in and provides a quick snapshot of your progress and grades. Messages will show all your emails from your teachers and also allow you to send your teachers messages. The course information screen will include all information on your courses, including course descriptions and teacher contact information. The academic snapshot screen provides an overall progress bar for all courses. Finally, the student activity screen will show how many assignments you have completed for a course. Let's take a moment to take a closer look at the Academic Snapshot screen. On this screen, you will see more detailed information for each course you are taking. Let's use this chemistry course as an example. The actual grade is based on work that is due and takes late work into consideration. Late work is counted as zero and would lower your grade. The overall grade is based only on the work that you have submitted. It does not take late work into account. Assignments shows how many assignments there are in the course and how many you have submitted. Pacing indicates if you are ahead or behind of where you should be. Last activity shows the last time that you have submitted an assignment. Percent completed shows what percentage of the course you have completed. 
Targeted completion shows where you should be at any given point in the course. Edgenuity calculates grades in three different ways. Actual, overall, and relative. MVP uses the actual grade for tracking and reporting progress to you, your parents, and your school. As was mentioned before, to access your course, you will click on the name of the course on the dashboard screen. When you click on the name of the course, your course will appear. Welcome to Edgenuity, where learning clicks. Once you've logged in, you'll see a tile for each course or program you currently have active. Each tile will give you some information about your progress and achievements so far. If you're on track, your progress will appear in blue. If you're ahead, you'll see your progress in green. But if you see your progress shown in red, it means you've fallen behind. You'll need to put in some extra time to get caught up. On some tiles, you can also view your course grade. Notice that this student has an overall grade of 95% in foundational math. That means they're currently earning an A on the work they've completed so far. Great job! It's almost time to get started in your online course. Remember to keep these tips for success in mind. First, take notes on what you're learning. You might use eNotes and you might use a pen and paper, but rephrasing what you learn in your own words helps you pay attention and remember what you've learned. Second, stay on pace. Make sure your progress bar is in the blue or even in the green. If you fall too far behind, it gets hard to catch up later. If your teacher has set a target date for you, you can check the due dates in your course map to see exactly what you need to do each day to stay on track. As long as you complete all your assignments for the day, you'll stay on pace. Ask for help when you need it. If you don't understand something, tell your teacher. He or she can explain it in a different way and point you toward other online resources. You are responsible for your own success, but you don't have to do it alone. And finally, avoid plagiarism. It's never okay to copy and paste other people's work and submit it as your own. Even if you find text online and you don't know who the author is, you do know that the author isn't you. You can't pass someone else's work off as your own. So always cite your sources or rephrase ideas in your own words. Now we're ready to jump into a lesson. To get started, you can click Next Activity, or you can click anywhere else on the tile to go to the course map. Click a tile to go to the course map now. This is your course map. From here, you can view the entire structure of your course. You can also view your eNotes here. As you work through the course, you may see alerts appear. For example, if you fall behind, you'll see a message telling you how much work you need to do to catch up. If you have feedback from a teacher, you'll see an alert like this. And if you forget to submit an activity for your teacher to grade, you'll see a reminder like this. Don't forget to submit your work once you finish it. A few other helpful things to notice. Want to switch courses? You can navigate among your active courses right here or go back to the home page. Need help using Edgenuity? Visit the Help Center, where you'll find videos, resources you can download, and frequently asked questions. On the course map, most activities will show up as grayed out and locked unless your teacher has allowed you to move freely throughout the course. To work on any activity that's unlocked, click the activity title. This activity is a warm-up or introduction. Let's take a look. This activity starts with a video. You can pause and rewind the video at any time using the video controls here. If you've already watched the video the whole way through once, you can fast forward to the part you want to see again. However, you can't fast forward through any video segment you haven't watched yet. You do need to watch every video once all the way through. You can control the volume here. And you can turn captions on here. It's important to know that most of the important information you'll be tested on will be taught here in the videos. So pay attention and take good notes. You'll find your e-notes or digital notebook here. You can take notes at any time. Pause the video if you want to, or if you're a fast typist, you can take notes while the teacher is talking. 
Once you add a note to your notebook, you can go back and edit it if you need to. Just click the note and it'll appear in the eNotes text box. Edit your note and click Save. Now you may find that you want to add more to your notes. In advanced mode, you can use formatting tools like tables, an equation editor, a symbol palette, and bulleted lists. We find that students who take notes tend to do better on quizzes and tests. Taking the time to write down the important ideas in your own words will help you process and remember what you learn. So use your eNotes. Another helpful tool is the glossary, found on this second tab. All the vocabulary words for the lesson will appear here, but you can also look up any word you want. To go back to the lesson word list, just close the word lookup window. The third tab contains a transcript of the current activity. You can view this transcript in English, or you can translate it into any supported language, as long as you have the translation enabled. Just open the transcript and select your language here. Sometimes the video will pause, and you'll be asked to complete a task. On any task, you can use the tools in your toolbar. In math and science courses, you can use the built-in calculators to solve problems. Depending on the course, you might have access to a standard calculator, a graphing calculator, or other specialized calculators. In any course, you can highlight text. This can help you pay attention as you read, especially when you're asked to read extended articles and stories. If you have Read Aloud enabled, you can hear text read aloud. Just highlight what you want to hear and press the Read Aloud button. The runner travels. If you have translation enabled, you can change the languages of most on-screen text here. Some of these languages also work with the Read Aloud tool, so try it out. Il grafico mostra la distanza. Now when you want to leave an activity, just click the home button in the upper left corner of your screen. Don't worry, we'll always save your work. When you come back to the activity, you'll be able to pick up where you left off. Now it's time to get started in your online course. Here are a few more things to remember as we complete this orientation. Keep in mind that all information for this program can be accessed at our website, mvp.mciu.org. Here are some final reminders for summer courses. All course content is delivered and submitted online. All work must be complete by the end date for your school. No extensions will be granted. Finally, there are no refunds. As a reminder, here's the contact information for MVP should you have any questions or concerns.